Keith. Welcome to Infra Talk America. Uh, We're uh, very much looking forward to this conversation. Greg, I appreciate the invite, and I look forward to the, the conversation we're going to have. Ashtoware. Why yes. don't we begin by your giving uh, uh, our listeners kind of an idea what it is, how long it's sure. been around, what, yeah. and why it's important to Ashto. We'll and, do. And, so, and, and, of course, uh, uh, Prev. Ashto, the uh, 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 American Association of State and Highway Transportation Officials, and Ashto effectively uh, is the uh, uh, the board of directors are the state DOT CEOs uh, from around the country. So it's a very important organization that really uh, brings together all the state DOTs for a number of things. And Ashto Air has been a staple at Ashto for for many years. Yeah, but, yeah. So, so hand off I'll, I'll start at a very high level. So obviously, Ashto is as Greg you mentioned. This is a association that represents the 52 state DOTs. We include. Uh, Puerto Rico and DC. Uh, and we have kind of two parts of Ashto. We have a the committee structure and the policy side, and then we have a what's what we call the technical service side. And part of the technical service side is Ashtoware. And so Ashtoware follows the premise of what Ashto really was founded uh, back in 1914, which is collectively can the states come together and produce something that's beneficial for the nation. So back in 1985-ish, the mid-80s, some states came together and said, hey, we need to automate some of our processes and we really want to use software. And back then in the 80s, there was not a lot of companies doing software. Uh, and so we as Ashto said, oh, okay, states, if you guys are interested in this, we can develop what at the time was called the cooperative development, or a joint, cooperative joint development uh, program, uh, which is, has become Ashtoware. Uh, we said, okay, states, if you guys are interested in this concept of building software that's kind of tailored to your needs, we can do this. Uh, we need collectively, you know, maybe 10 to 15 states to put in some seed money. Um, we, as Ashto, will hire a contractor, and we will start doing software development. And, and it's based on what we call joint development, which is those states come together and figure out what are the requirements that they need for the software. And then Ashto, we hire a contractor, and they develop the software for us. So really, from the beginning, you're partnering with private sector companies who have the uh, capabilities it, to produce software. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we would... Um, We've been lucky enough. Uh, the first product that, that came out, which is now called Ashtoware Project, uh, I don't want to get into the old names, um, uh, but the, the company that we we really started with is Infotech, and we've mm -hmm. been with them for over, uh, we're approaching 40 years. Very good so, company. Yep. Yeah, and they're they're well known within the industry of, of what they produce, and that, that's more on the construction management tool. Um, so again, that started in the 80s uh, with construction management. And as time went by, um, states wanted different tools, different software. And so we, we, since then, we have expanded to bridge management. Uh, we have a bridge design and rating tool. Uh, we have a payment design tool. Uh, and and um, some of the uh, innovative things that we started, we now have a, a safety tool uh, and a new model, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, and it's called Ashware Safety Powered by Numetric. We have, uh, uh, at InfoTalk America, we have premier sponsors who provide the resources necessary for us to produce the content that we produce. And our, uh, and our, our principal goal is to advance uh, to state of practice uh, digital project delivery technology. Um, and we also have a, a focus area on, uh, on uh, um, um, sustainable uh, composite structures. But our focus on digital um, Trimble's one of our uh, premier sponsors, and uh, Hall Hub Technologies, and um, so I'm, I'm looking. So I've, over the last five years, I've gotten educated uh, yeah. uh, about certainly from the perspective of one of the major players in, in the software side, uh, and there are obviously several. So back in at the beginning, um, in terms of you know com the notion of competing with the private sector. Has, was that an issue? Um, or back then, but, was the industry as robust as it is today? Because today yeah. you seem to be establishing partnerships yeah, and yeah. not necessarily uh, competing. Uh, Greg, you're exactly right. I think, you know, 40 years ago, um, soon to be 50 years ago, there, there wasn't that type of 
robustness as you're talking about when it came to software development. There just, there just wasn't. And so, quite frankly, back then, it, I mean, it's a huge risk. It, it's, it's a risk today. Don't get me wrong. It's a risk today also to do any new development. But back then, a major risk for any company to say, oh, okay, States, uh, you guys want something? What do you want? Well, we don't know exactly. That's a huge risk for any company to take on. So, you know, Astro said, okay, we're willing, as a service to our members, we're willing to take on that risk, get our states together and figure out what the requirements are, and then we'll contract. So the, it, it, at that time, it was more about um, covering the risk. I think today, there's, there's, the landscape is drastically different when it comes to software development. And that's, um, I think, a good lead into kind of where we're, we're pivoting. About three to four years ago, um, we at Ashto uh, and the Ashtoware uh, leadership, which is the special committee on Ashtoware, it's a, it's a group of nine individuals from the different state DOTs who, who kind of oversee Ashtoware as a program, really decided that, you know, the old model still works. But we understand that, the, the, as I said, the landscape of, of the software is different than when we started back in the, in the mid 80s. And so instead of us trying to be everything to all of our members, let's see what's already in the marketplace. And if our members, that really meets our members' needs, let's not recreate a wheel. Let's form what we're calling an alliance with that, that company and maybe bring it into the Ashto fold uh, and, and provide that to our members through Ashto. And so this is a little bit of a, a mind shift of how Ashto started, but I think the concept of making sure that this tool meets the majority of our members' needs really still strikes at the heart of what Ashto is. Well, a, a, a terrific example, um, uh, very appropriately. Um, so uh, Hallheb Technologies yep. is an example of this uh, alliance. Correct. Um, partnership is that the way? To well, we're, we're uh, or, um, for for legal reasons, we're yeah. not using the term partnership. Yeah. Uh, but um, so yes, the, the alliance project. I, it, I, we call it. Um, there's three types of alliances. Yeah. There's a data alliance, right. which uh, allows vendors to get into a, a platform. It's called Ashtore Open API to do a data exchange. Right. Uh, the second one is uh, alliance a API being yeah Open API Ashtor, um, um API is basically the it's a technical term that allows data to transfer between two systems. Thank you. Yep. Um, the next one is called a product alliance, and this is where Hall Hub fits in. So, a product alliance is for tools that Ashto is already in that business area. So, Hall Hub is in the project construction management space, but the tool that we have, which is Ashto Work Project, didn't have that functionality. And so, instead of the states paying for de development to do this functionality, Let's just partner with Hall Hub. And not just Hall Hub, anybody that's in the e-construction space, we're open for an alliance with them. Right. Um, we're not looking to lock in with a single company. Um, for At the product level, we're looking to whoever, whatever our members really want and need, and it provides value well, to them, and, we're and, open. And uh, per, uh, perhaps an explanation, or, uh, uh, just to clarify, um, the specific tool that is the subject of this alliance yeah. is to facilitate e-ticketing. Correct. And just for our listeners, e-ticketing is really the digitization of what is currently a, a you know historically been a paper ticketing system. Yeah. So you get a in a very manual uh, process. In a very manual process. So you get a you know a load of asphalt at the plant, and they literally have a you know triplicate kind of paper yeah. ticket system where you're. Uh, taking that paper ticket, uh, you know, to the jobs, to the to the paving site on the highway, and giving a piece of paper to you know the contractor, uh, to the yeah. owner, the DOT inspector, and uh, they're manually entering that data. There's a we did a uh, we call them info docs. They're you know mini documentaries about about e-ticketing and. We had this marvelous woman who really ran the show in many respects at one of these plants, and she holds up this pile of paper tickets and says, yeah. this is a day and a half. Yeah. Um, that busy work goes away yeah. instantly. Everything gets digitized, and though it's really important <coughs> is the data itself goes, is captured, is captured yeah. and has applications that we don't even know about yet. Yeah. Versus paper tickets, as I said in an interview, uh, paper tickets are where data go to die. So yeah. we're creating value 
and systems that make everybody more efficient and profitable. Contractors totally can agree. get their billing out faster. You know, they don't have to wait two or three weeks to figure out if they made yeah. any money on that project. There are a lot of good business reasons for it. But the I, I think the other, Greg, the other important aspect, I think, of something like Hall Hub and e-ticketing and the, the electrification of data and the automation of data is that person who used to collect the tickets, now they can think of something else. Like how else, exactly what you said, how else can they utilize the yeah. data? What else can we do here? Yeah. Um, Maybe maybe the process of even what they're doing with the collection is off, or maybe we need to collect different data. So I think it allows uh, kind of a an openness of something that they can fo focus their energy on something right, that's right. more productive. But it's it's a good example in the context of the role Ashto uh, serves I, I because so. e-ticketing was really the the priority was a, uh, came as a result of COVID. Yeah. And state DOTs around the country, you know, like everybody else, trying to keep people away from each other. So you didn't want, you know, you didn't want, you know, uh, uh, definitely an, accelerated somebody climbing it. on a yeah. truck, you know, trading, eat, uh, you know, paper tickets. Uh, that So it became a, there was a sense of urgency. Yeah. And and companies like Hall Hub and others came to the table, figured out solutions. And you're, you searched the market for yeah. a solution and arranged to, you know, Ac create a easy, easy access for DOTs, uh, and uh, the result is, uh, I'm not sure what the number is, but 43 so, state DOTs signed on to the Everyday Counts initiative yeah. to advance, so that the evidence that there was literally national demand for this. So AshtoWare really met or reacted to the market's need and exactly. helped accelerate that process so that I, I mean, this is well over 30 states are yeah, now yeah. equipped to advance and engage in e-ticketing. Yeah. I think one thing that, you know, Ashto exists to make sure our members' needs are getting met. And I think this is just a good example of, you know, this was something that uh, COVID accelerated it, but the whole ticket process, there's some safety concerns there that... Oh. Uh, that that is real. My uh, bad for not or for burying I, the lead because you're exactly <clears throat> right. And in, in that that that's always been important to us. Um, but oftentimes, uh, you know, we've been around this business for a while. You, you need you need a different tipping point to get to where you need to go. And I think COVID was that different tipping point to really push us uh, where we needed to go and, and kind of get the safety thing done along with it. So I, I mean, there's so many upsides to kind of what. Hall Hub and companies like that do as far as the e-ticketing. And, and we're just, you know, our members want it, we need it, and we were there to play a role to make sure that the data flowed into our system so it so our members could utilize it. So uh, these alliances, as you said, are is, is now part of your makeup, and <coughs> is that a tool you you expect you'll be yeah, so, growing um, in the future? I mentioned three alliances, and I never got to the, the last one, oh, yes. which is a strategic alliance. And, and that's a little different in a sense that um, it, a strategic alliance means that it's a business area that Ashto currently isn't in, but our members really have a need for it, right? So um, the, those three alliances, I think, are going to be the future for Ashto um, because it, right now with, you know, data standardization and trying to get to uh, whether it's, you know, IFC, which is a, a, a global standard for data. Everyone knows that we need to have all of our systems talking and Ashto and Ashto where want to play a role in that. And no, and we know we can play a role in that. So we think Alliance, the Alliance program will, will hopefully help bring industry together uh, around the Ashto where suite. Uh, and help our members get to that goal of kind of a flow from planning into, you know, plan design, into bidding, letting, into construction, and then into asset management, and then back to the planning. So we think we can play a role, and I think the Alliance program will help us get it yeah. get there. Such an intelligent approach. I, I, and I'm very, uh, uh, I, I'm very much interested in interviewing your boss, Jim Timon. Yeah. 
who's the executive director of AASHTO, and prior to his uh, his uh, service at AASHTO, uh, served for many years as a senior official uh, on, on the Hill in Congress. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, you know, having him, you know, at the helm during the whole Egypt, you know, process um, was extraordinarily important. Yeah. Uh, AASHTO did a terrific job of uh, helping the committees frame the bills and... <coughs> Uh, Ashto's always relied on heavily by members of Congress, both parties, yeah. because they're high, uh, significant, very trusted. Yeah, but we are we are very fortunate yeah. that um, a lot of uh, the Congress um, and leadership on the Hill do look to Ashto for for guidance and input. So, and that's a, a tribute to Jim and and John Lee and Jennifer Hall and the leadership that we have at Ashto. So, sure, and their predecessors, yeah. Chung Lee. Yeah, true. Jung Lee and I got to, you know, I, I got I, I was named uh, Deputy Commissioner of Maine DOT in yeah, yeah. 2002. That's when I first met him as a <laughs> yeah. young staffer for yeah, yeah. Jack Basso. Yeah, uh, yeah. Names and John mean, Horsley. Uh, names yeah. that mean a lot to, yeah. to folks that have been around as long as I have. John Horsley, of course, yeah. and, and followed uh, Bud Wright. There have been some mm -hmm. great executive directors. But every every leader has it has their time, and True. the timing could not have been better. And uh, so, but I'm really, I, I'm, I'm very interested in, 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 in um, talking with Jim about Ashtoware from a CEO standpoint, the yeah. role it plays in, in the organization. It's an important, you know, financial commitment <clears throat> and resource. And uh, True. Um, so, so the work you do, tell me, how long have you been so in I, this role? I've been in this role um, for two years now. Um, and I, I was very fortunate enough to kind of be mentored and um, guided down a path by my predecessor, Jan Edwards who was at the helm of Ashtoware for, uh, she's involved with Ashtoware for about 30 years, but she she kind of was the director for about, I think 14 or 15 of those 30 years. So I, I, I was very fortunate enough to be mentored by somebody who has the wisdom and foresight of, of getting the program together. And then also seeing, she's the one who kind of planted the seed of, you know what? I think Alliance is the next step, next evolution of Ashtoware. So she kind ah. of planted the seed of, yeah. of the Alliance program. And, and, I've, and I've, I've, been, I've been fortunate enough to be the one who she handed a, the yeah. keys to, yeah. to the kingdom. And I've hopefully been able to keep it she, uh, growing. Very effective administrator. Yes. And, and uh, she, left quite, she left quite a legacy, to say the least. That she um, did. Um, and... Uh, um, and you are the beneficiary, but what it, it sounds to me like you're taking you're you're effectively taking it to that next level. Uh, which I, is I hope so. I, no I, easy I, task <laughs> in an organization yeah. like this, particularly a member-driven organization, because you've got you know you, you it's all about it, the members. It is. And you you have 52 state DOTs and 52 states and 52 sets of politics and philosophies and governors who have different it, approaches. Exactly. And what happens at Ashto is they gather here as CEOs of state DOTs, and I'll tell you, there's very, very few occasions where I've ever seen politics or even, you know, political philosophy affect the outcome. They yeah. always have to be cognizant of that. They all, they all have to go true. home to governors. <coughs> yes. Uh, but by and large, I think the political class, if you will, have really not pressed uh, DOTs to do anything more than they're doing. They're always relied upon yeah. to be that bipartisan, straight, uh, you know, infrastructure agency. And that, that so the, the DOTs as a, as, a, as, a, as a network of organizations are effective because they're trusted. Uh, yeah. And, you know, transportation affects all of our lives uh, every right. day. Right. And so I, I think uh, you know, that's a tribute to all the CEOs f of our member agencies or secretaries, whatever the title may be. Um, I, I think they they see uh, and, and their governors see that, you know, the work they do has value, has benefit. And I think they understand. And so they give them the leeway to do what they need to do. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, it's, it's amazing when whenever you think. Um, and, and uh, you know, Jim Time and the executive director always jokes around about, you know, technically I have 52 bosses, you know, and <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and he does. Uh, so, um, but it's an Ashto, Ashto is an amazing, amazing organization. And, and I think the power of it, and I think this is why, uh, you know, collectively all the, all of our members do get behind it is because um, a, a single voice, 52 
voices coming into one single voice output, I think is really powerful. It's uh, it's an important organization. I've been involved in one way or another in it for yeah. 20 years. And uh, uh, going forward, its importance is even it, it will, will grow even uh, more yeah. uh, in terms of um, we, we just we're enjoying this incredible boost of resources. True. I mean, I spent <clears throat> I was involved at the state level as deputy commissioner and then moved to Washington for the federal highway role during the 10 year stretch of safety loo yeah, uh, yeah. 32 or so uh, re uh, or uh, uh, continuing resolutions yeah. it was an awful time to yeah. be running DOTs because you, you the predictability of resources weren't there yeah it was and it was touch and go. I mean, oh, it was yeah. it was a it was a very very you know kind of sad time in in you know highway and bridge infrastructure history, and yeah. that has gone. I mean, yeah. the now the challenge is the uh, reauthorization is a five year cycle. In three years, we'll be doing this again, yeah. and I you know and I think by all accounts we need to do at least as well as we did with Egypt, uh, and that's going to be a tall order. Yeah, uh, yeah. But we can't afford not to. Uh, and totally agree. Uh, so I think part of what we're trying to do is keep that conversation going in our business. You know, our business, our focus is innovation. Yeah. So the more we can get those software tools out there, the more we can accelerate and advance these uh, uh, these processes like an e-ticketing is a terrific example. Then you've got the broader digital project delivery spectrum, open BIM, BIM for infrastructure. Yeah. And amazing work going on by committees at Ashto to sort of establish open standards and that enables the creativity of the private sector because you have open exactly. standards everybody's working to build the best mousetrap yeah but it's all based on a you know a consistent platform that's going to take everything to another level yeah and that's happening literally as we speak it um, is so in the next five years i think we're going you know i think you know i call it full full digitization <laughs> yeah. uh when we're fully deployed and fully employ those technologies there a uh, trimble actually did an analysis of a project in norway because they're a global company yeah. like many of them are and they've been particularly focused on this and and they did an analysis that indicated 90 to 95 percent reduction in that project fully digitized project I, I, I uh, mean, reduction in change orders yeah that is from the stand for those of you who aren't you know familiar with the construction side uh, you know in, in public infrastructure a change order can be a mistake that was made on the ground. You've got to deconstruct and reconstruct. It costs time. It costs extraordinary amounts of money. A 90 to 95% reduction in change orders. That's mind-blowing. Would save billions over yeah. the next decade. Um, it's that kind of impact. Yeah. So the tools that you're organizing, the tools that you're helping to present to the DOTs, the impact, uh, the impact long term will be extraordinary. And that's yeah. billions of savings that go back into projects. Yeah. Um, so, um, so the work you're doing is important. The partnerships with the private sector essential. The pace of cha of, of technology technological change is so rapid. Yeah. There was a day when institutions like DOTs could do some of that stuff in house. Is, Those days are gone. Yeah. You just can't. It makes no sense. These companies are equipped, and they do the research. They do the investment in, exactly. in taking that technology to the next level. So. I think your alliance approach is timely and uh, and very effective. We we'll look forward yeah, to seeing I, more of it. Yeah, we're excited about it. So great. Um, anything else you'd like to sort of uh, share I, with I, our listeners before um, we let I, you go back I would to just work? Say, um, you know, obviously, I'm here speaking on behalf of Ashto Ware, but I have a whole staff that that supports me. Um, I kind of call myself the, the figurehead. Uh, I'm the one who uh, kind of gets out there. Um, so I, I just want to thank all my staff and specifically uh, on the Alliance program. If anybody has any questions about the Alliance program, uh, we have a great staff person. Her name's Shakita Mora Battle. Um, check our website at ashtoware.org. Uh, you can find her contact information if you have any questions about the Alliance program. Well. Thank you, Keith. This has been yeah. enlightening. I appreciate and, uh, it. It's uh, a, another example of how public agencies like state DOTs are really, really do think out of the box yeah. and are continuously trying to find solutions for to deliver projects more efficiently, less cost, uh, important today, sustainably. 
Um, and, and the technology, uh, and, and uh, that's a, a point I like to make with folks, the, the, the digitization of the process has absolute direct and measurable sustainability yes, benefits in terms of the efficiency of delivering projects. So across the board, whether it's cost savings, time savings, or more sustainable outcomes, add them all up. They're significant, and the technology will get us there faster. Yeah. Um, now we've got state DOTs and the, the community within that, and change never comes easy. That is true. Contractors who have been doing business a certain way for decades in some cases, change never comes easy. So the process of really engagement and partnership is a way to get that done more effectively yeah. and, and, frankly, faster. Yeah. So, and, so, And we look forward to yeah. um, do, making that change together. Well, keep yeah. up the good work, and thanks, thanks for taking the time, yeah, Keith. No we'll hope for future conversations, and I'm very much looking forward to talking to your to, to the executive director uh, about Ashto Wear and what it does. <laughs> All right, for Ashton, thanks very much. Take Keith. care.